That's a salmon, I think. That's definitely a salmon. <laughs> Going straight sideways, that's definitely a salmon. I saw pretty small, oh wow, really small salmon, like four pounds. He's still got some fight though. I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but I just pointed the GoPro at this bait ball with fish markers in it right off the bottom. I saw it maybe five minutes ago. I'm in real shallow water, like 80 feet deep. I tried to get back over it a couple times, found it. And finally, uh, got a fish out of it. And now I know there's salmon there for sure. All right, I'm just gonna get this guy out of the net here and going. There he goes, he swam off because I gotta get back to that school before I lose it. By the way, I forgot to mention before, we kind of got a little bit of a running start here, didn't even film an intro, but I was using a P-Line jig to get that salmon. Two ouncer with a Jig Geek sickle trailer hook, of course. Oh man, look at that. Oh, you can't see it. Let me see if I can get it in the glare here. Look at that. Super thick bait from the bottom to about halfway up or two thirds of the way up. Oh, there's a lot going on down there right now. None biting me though. There's a fish. That's a salmon. There we go, baby. Trolling on the surface. I'm seeing a bunch of fish on the surface. And maybe I was just jigging a little too deep because when I got up and started trolling, so my jig was basically, you know, within 10 feet of the surface, I hooked this fish. Looks pretty small, I think. Might get a jump. Oh yeah, it's a small Chinook. About five pounds. Same kind of thing I caught earlier. And just like the last one, since this is a small fish, the easiest way to catch and release him is probably, is gonna be with my rubber net here, even though it's not a big enough net for any real size salmon. This is just a little doinker. See ya. All right, let's catch another one. There's a fish. Oh yeah, those are some those are some wide head shakes. It could be a decent fish. Oh, he just blew up on the surface, but I didn't get a perfect look at him, so I'm not 100% sure how big yet. Beauty fish, though. I think it's big enough to net in my little rubber net though still. Just barely though, just barely. It's pretty big. It's like 10 pounds for sure, which is not huge, but it's a good fish, you know? I'm stoked. Oh yeah, good fish. Definitely getting close, there he is. Oh, I missed. Well, that was the worst netting attempt ever. All right. By some miracle, he's given me, by some miracle, he's given me a second attempt here, maybe. Got him. That was the worst netting ever, <laughs> I think. Unfortunately, Chinook are not quite in season. Gotta wait a few more weeks for that. But I'm out here doing a little pre-fishing so I know what's what for the open season as my tackle box falls in the ground. And uh, this would be a keeper, definitely. This is a uh, probably like 10 pound fish. Absolutely gorgeous. And he's already ready to go. See ya. 
12, despite doing everything I possibly could to lose that fish, I managed to land it, probably due to this beautiful sickle hook right here. So this is that white and green spoon I was just talking about. There's a glow strip right here. It's kind of two-tone green on this side and then white on this side. And then I've got what I'm now realizing is too long of a leader here between my weight and my spoon because I've got kind of a short rod here. There's about eight feet between this weight and this spoon. I'm gonna turn that into five or six and keep fishing. One more Chinook. Can I get one more Chinook? Why am I so slow in this stupid rowboat? Row. Uh. There's a, maybe a bait ball, possibly. No, a little bait ball. Come on, I want to see the rod go. Boom. Baby, lock them doors and turn them lights down. Woo. Fish go. Uh. What do I want to eat when I get home? I'm thinking ramen noodles, and that's a freaking fish right there. That's another salmon. Oi, there's a jump. There's another jump, and he's gone. Oh, that was awesome. That was so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, he broke me off. No. Where did it break? Broke on the 20 pound mono. Right at the knot. Oh no. I must have tied a bad knot. <sighs> oh, I like that spoon too. More than anything in fishing, my biggest pet peeve is breaking off. With well, the hook still in the fish's mouth, but. It's barbless, it should fall out. And I learned, I think, that I need to switch something up. I'm switching from 20 pound to 30 pound monofilament leader with this trolling setup here. Hopefully a break off like that won't be as likely to happen again. There's a fish. There's another Chinook and he's off. I just watched him pop off. No way. Those were some big old Chinook head shakes and he just popped off the hook. It was right after I switched to a new spoon which does not have a Jig Geek sickle hook on it because there's no split ring there so I couldn't replace it. So I'm gonna blame that on that and not my uh, incompetence as a fisherman. Either way, that's three Chinook in the past like 30 minutes. That's not bad. This is the same spot I keep hooking them, so. Yep, there's a bait ball right on cue. Might happen. Might happen, might happen. This is my last chance. Well, my last chance other than the troll home. Slow down here a tad little bit. Ooh, that's a, that's a biggest bait ball I've seen all night, or at least the longest one. Might get a fish out of it. Could happen. Yep. Yep. Another Chinook. Right at the very end of the night, coming towards me, coming towards me, coming towards me, and he's off. <laughs> oh, well that was still cool, and I'm gonna make another troll through. Again, this hook. I mean, I fought that fish like shit too, but I'm gonna clip off that hook with pliers at home and put on a Jig Geek hook. This message has been brought to you by Jig Geek. For real note, it might not be a coincidence that I fight the fish on the Jig Geek hook like absolute dog water and land it, and then I lose two for two with this spoon with the different hook. Or maybe the more likely, probably, possibly option is that I'm just a dog water, dog shit fisherman. I think that's probably the one. 
All right, last, last troll through this stupid school that I keep getting fish out of. I just know that every troll through here is gonna be more paddling in the pitch dark that I have to do. But there's fish, man. There's fish. There's the big bait ball I just hooked another fish out of. It's shallower now, so I'm gonna speed up a bit, get my presentation higher in the water column. Let's see if I can actually not lose a fish. That would be pretty neat and cool and epic. Ooh, there's the other half of the big bait ball. My, uh, there's another one. All right, you, all right, I'm not losing you. You're getting in my net. Okay, this is not, not a big fish, I don't think. What is this? Yeah, little dude. Little doink of a Chinook. He's not nothing, he's three, four pounds. Little Doink has a little fight, and Little Doink is a little gone. Woohoo! I'm never using one of these stock hooks again. I'll see you next video.